Time for you to share the spotlight. A complete Supersaur skeleton has been discovered in Colorado, and it's going to be exhibited right here at the Dinatarium. Great! Huh? <gasps> Who said that? Quiet, you blockhead. Sorry, I forgot. Huh, must have imagined it. Anyway, this is the first complete skeleton of a Supersaur ever discovered, and Dr. Abbott and I are going to excavate it! Supersaurus was huge, taller than a five-story building. Oh, dear. Naomi's talking to the fossils again. She really needs a vacation. He's going to be a new member of our little family. Hey, what's up, Naomi? Hello, you two. We heard that the Dinatarium's going to be getting a new dinosaur real soon. That's right. Isn't it just wonderful? We'll be going to finish the excavation tomorrow. Oh, wow, Naomi. Can we go with you? We'd love to see a working excavation. You've got to let us go, Naomi. Come on, please. I think it's a marvelous idea. Yes, of course you can go. Great. Oh, all yes, right. <laughs> Doc Dragon, all your plans have failed. Why haven't the Dino Knights been destroyed? Because the Dino Knights are too strong for him to defeat, Your Highness. The Dino Knights are strong, it's true. But I have come up with a new strategy, which will cause them to be destroyed by one of their own. Ah, betrayal. One of my favorite tactics, but I thought that the Dynamites were immune to disloyalty. Correct, Your Eminence. Yet it will be a dinosaur that causes their downfall. <laughs> Nonsense! What are you talking about? Those dinosaurs stick together. You'll never get one to betray the others. Your plan will never work! We'll see about that. Ah, don't do that! We're here. That's the excavation Whoa. site right over there. It's huge. Wow. That's one big dinosaur. He weighed about 55 tons and was 138 feet long. The largest dinosaur ever discovered. Supersaurus lived during the Jurassic period, about 150 million years ago. Oh, I can just imagine what he looked like. He must have been absolutely magnificent. That's why you're in charge of this operation, my dear. I'm sure ah. you'll make him look just as magnificent at the Dinotarium. There's no doubt about that. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? You're sitting on top of one of his bones. Move over. And you there, be careful. Hey, what did I do? Do calm down, my dear. <laughs> well, now, let's get to work. Would you two like to help us dig him out? Oh, yeah. I thought you'd never ask. Let's get started. You see, you use the brush to gently loosen and remove the dirt around the bone. I didn't know it was such hard work. Why not use a shovel? Wouldn't it be a lot faster? And you do a tremendous amount of damage to what you're trying to preserve. In a way, fossils are like people. If you treat them like friends, they'll tell you the secrets they won't tell anyone else. Fossils can talk? Of course they can, Rena. Toronto tells huh? us things all the time. Dino! They can't actually talk, but when you study them, the information you learn tells us what happened millions of years ago. Little by little, they give up their secrets. That's what I meant when I said they can't talk. Were you and Dr. Abbott responsible for discovering the dinosaur fossils that are on display at the Dinatarium? Yes, and all at the same time. All seven of them? It did seem like a miracle to find seven perfect skeletons all in one place. Yes, the entire scientific community was astounded. That day was so exciting I get goosebumps thinking about it. I remember it all. We had been working the site for two days, and it just made our first major find. Mm-hmm. This is definitely a Tyrannosaurus. And for such an old guy, he's in pretty good shape. He'll make a great addition to our collection. That was Toronto, right? You found him first. That's right, Kaito. How long did it take to find the others? Well, we didn't exactly find them. They just sort of appeared. I still don't know exactly how it happened. You're going to be the first exhibit ever displayed at the Dinatarium. I'll take great care of you. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, there was some mix-up in the paperwork which protected our site, and the owner of the land wanted to build something there. 
You people are trespassing. My orders are to level this entire area for a concrete foundation. Level it? This site is protected. Why, there must be some mistake. No mistake, Pops. Now get out of the way. Doctor, the man who owns this land is rich and powerful. If he wants to build something here, he's not going to let a few dinosaur fossils stop him. This is an important prehistoric site. I won't allow it. Neither will I. Now look here, folks. I'm warning you. You either get out of the way or you're going to get hurt. He's serious. Naomi, what are you doing? To get to them, you'll have to go through me. I guess you didn't hear me. I've got my orders, lady, so you better get moving, and I mean now. No way. Not an inch. Lady, they're just bones. They've been dead for a million years. Those fossils aren't just a bunch of bones. There are 65 million year old record of life on the planet Earth. Naomi! I'm not going to move. Got that? What happened? I don't know. Those rocks came out of nowhere. Huh? Why, that's amazing. Naomi, look behind you. Huh? And there they were. The six other dinos that are now in the Dinotarium. Wow. That's amazing. I had the strangest feeling the dinos protected me. Well, maybe they did protect you. Right, Kaido? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what a job. Excavating seven major fossils at the same time. We were working around the clock for weeks. And it turned out to be worth every minute, didn't it? Mm-hmm. And this is the same kind of opportunity. Yes, I think you're right. But this time, you won't have to stop a bulldozer. <laughs> <laughs> Come, my little servant. Now, show me what the Earth scientists have found. <laughs> Excellent! How wonderfully ironic that a mere fossil will be the downfall of the mighty Dino Knights! <laughs> Supersaurus has so much to tell me. Tell Toronto and the others to come quick. 
That's right, it's alive, and it's rampaging through the streets. Amazing. Was anyone hurt? Naomi was, but she'll be okay. Luckily, it's early, and most of the townspeople are still sleeping, but the town's being wrecked. I don't understand. How could a fossil skeleton move around? Yeah, what's holding it together? That's right. How did it power up? And why is it attacking the town? What's really weird is that if it's alive, how come we can't sense it? Hmm, that's a good question. Only one way to find out. Up close and personal. Let's go. Supersaurus turned Tricera back into a fossil. <laughs> My plan is working perfectly. The Dino Knights know they must touch him, but the noble fools will have to in order to stop him. Soon they'll all be fossils, and Earth's life force will be ours for the taking. Tricera! How in the world did he do this to him? I sense a weird distortion of his energy field. Hey, what's that? Uh oh Watch out for his tail! Tirano, we gotta stay away from this thing! But how are we gonna fight it if we can't get near it? I've had just about enough of this. Keep him occupied, Terra! Gotcha! No problem! Power of the Ancient! Mega Blade Broadsword! Ultimate Dino Knight ready! just like all of you. So you shouldn't be treating him like he's your enemy. You've got to find a way to show him that you're part of the same family, Toronto. Family? He's going to be a new member of our little family. Kaido has a good point, but we can't let him do any more damage. Perhaps if we just leave him alone and don't threaten him, he'll be more peaceful. Oh well, so much for that idea. There's got to be a way of stopping this guy. Yeah, but the question is, how do we do that without destroying him? Watch out, Kaido! Now that's weird. Where is he going? Why'd he stop his attack so suddenly? He seemed to have reacted to Kaido's presence. Or perhaps he merely needs to rest and recharge his energy. Well, guys, at least we'll get a break for a little while. Meanwhile, we'd better figure out what we're gonna do if he attacks again. Not if, but when. <laughs> Soon, the servants I've implanted in that fossil will have regained their energy. And when he awakens, the remaining Dino Knights will meet their doom when they try to stop him. K. 
Can you believe it? One minute he's a monster, the next minute he's sleeping like a baby. It seems to me that the only logical explanation for all this is that he's being controlled somehow. Perhaps by Diamond Ryugu or Dark Dragon. If you're right, I don't know if we can save him. There's gotta be a way! It would break Naomi's heart to lose him now. Come on, you guys, think! Well, looks like he's still sleeping. Now, why would a fossil need to sleep? How can it be alive in the first place? None of this makes any sense. Well, that's for sure. Huh? Naomi! Hi! Are you alright? Don't worry, I'm fine. Here, let me have a look. He's a beautiful specimen, all right. Listen, Naomi. I know you want to save him, but... I understand. If he goes on another rampage, it might be necessary to stop him forcefully. Huh? Is there something wrong? I'm not really sure, but... Look! There it is again! Huh? There's something strange on his neck. I wonder what... I need a closer look. Wait for us! His neck's 30 feet high. Just how do you plan to get up there? He'll climb, Kaito. Come on, follow me. Careful. Look! That bone! It's not one of the original vertebrae. It was somehow inserted into his neck after we excavated him. Are you sure, Naomi? I mean, why would anyone want to do that? I'm absolutely positive. This bone wasn't here before. Which means it might have something to do with why he's been acting the way he has. It could be controlling him. What are you gonna do? I don't know. The vertebrae are locked together. Uh, uh, if I can dislodge it... Uh, but if you remove uh, that bone, the whole uh, skeleton might fall apart. Uh, First, we've got to get it out of there. Then we'll worry about the rest of him. He's heading back to town. No, wait! Please, wait! You don't know what you're doing! Supersaurus were peaceful vegetarians. They were never violent unless they were defending themselves. I was right. Or someone is controlling him. There's no other reason for him to act like this. What is that? Uh, that's Toronto. Supersaurus, you've caused enough destruction. It ends here. Toronto! Oh, no! Don't do it, Toronto! figured out that he was being controlled by that strange bone in his neck. A bone that didn't belong to him, but I think I know where it came from. Huh? Wait, how'd you know my name? Who are you? Just your old friend, Toronto. Now I'm guessing that Dark Dragon is responsible for this. Let's find out. It really is you! Uh, Naomi! Oh, no! She's fainted, but she'll be all right. Hey! What happened to Supersaurus? He was here a minute ago. Weird. <laughs> ah, Tirano, you never fail to amuse me. I'm looking forward to our next entertaining encounter. <laughs> I think she's coming out of it. No. Huh? Hello uh. there, and welcome back. <laughs> Kaito, Rina, where is Supersaurus? Is he hurt? Is he still roaming around the city? Fossils are merely skeletons. They're not capable of locomotion, Naomi. What? How can 
you say that, Dr. Abbott? You were there, you saw him attack the town! Oh, that. I was dreaming, that's all. Rena, Kaito, you saw it, didn't you? And that warrior with the huge sword? Hmm. You hit your head pretty hard. Huh? It seems so real. Dreams are like that. Of course they are. <laughs> Hi, Naomi. Is Super Source finished yet? Yep, all done. What do you think of him? Wow, he's so lifelike. Yes, almost like he's about to bend down. Naomi? And... Oh, just kidding, Dr. Abbott. <laughs> <laughs> Fox kids, fox kids, fox kids, fox kids.